Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Cyprax video breakdown. In today's video, we're just going to cover some of the logical reasons as to why I was giving you guys some trade ideas on XRP, taking the price from roughly around when it was at 42 cents back on Monday the 8th when I sent the analysis up into the 50 cent range and beyond where price currently sits at, showing you guys the level of accuracy in which we um, implement into our trading and investing here at Cyperx, just kind of giving you guys a rundown of all the confluences, the logical explanations as to why I was giving you guys these price setups and these trade ideas, just showing you guys the layering effect that I personally believe every single investor should be taking when trading or investing in these markets. This is not some magical Fibonacci price prediction video breakdown. This is not, um, you know, some magic indicator that's going to answer all your questions in the market. No, this is real investing, real trading, and showing you guys that within inside the Cyprex community, there are tools and analysis readily available to every single person in advance before moves play out. So I'm going to try to orchestrate my mindset surrounding this trade idea that I gave you guys in advance and break that down for you all in today's video. All right. So we're going to start with giving Usman a shout out via the institutional Delta zones that he gives. Now, these Delta zones are so accurate. It is absolutely mind blowing. If you're not paying attention to these, whether you're a trader, a dollar cost averager, or a liquidity provider looking to set solid ranges, you should be. And if you don't, again, you guys all have access to these if you're a monthly subscriber in the Delta Zone section. Now, if Usman doesn't have listed any of the Delta Zones that you may want for specific trading pairs, then just reach out and ask him. So we're going to take our attention to some Delta Zones that he shared on July 7th. Mind you, I shared my analysis the day after on a Monday, July 8th. So you can see again, always paying attention to detail, you all had this information before the other manual retail traders and you had these levels before anybody else in the retail space. So if we click open the Delta zones that Usman shared on July 7th, what you'll notice is that there were a certain set of buy deltas roughly below the 40 cent range and sell deltas above the 44 to 40, let's just say five cent range. And so what I did is I thought to myself, okay, well, if the market makers aren't going to target lows anymore at the same time. So think about technical analysis wise, right? right? The, the market makers, they hunt liquidity. If they're not going to hunt liquidity beneath lows, then most likely what are they going to do? They're going to attempt to hunt liquidity above highs. At the same time this week, and I'll break this down as we go throughout this video breakdown, if we can see risk on market mood prevail, that means we can see risk on market mood come back into the market. That would also coexist with the market makers not hunting lows anymore, i.e. sellers exhausting and buyers coming back into the table. And so you can see here the delta zones roughly around the 44 to 43 cent range. So in my analysis that I sent to you guys, I took these delta zones and I said to myself, well, if the market makers aren't going to target these lower buy deltas, then what are they most likely going to do? They're going to push price higher through these sell deltas up into a premium range where market makers were previously selling before. And so you can see the sell deltas originally on the 7th when Usman had sent this message were roughly around 44 to 43 cents. So I'll take your attention over to the analysis that I sent you guys, and you can see the date. Timestamps are always important when you're paying attention to influencers that give you guys price predictions. You want to make sure that they're doing it before the move plays out and not after. So on Monday, July 8th at 7.03 p.m., I sent you guys this trade analysis. And if we expand it and we look at what I was telling you all, I said, if price can hold above 43 cents, I'll be looking for a break in a bullish hold above 45 to 47 cents before buying, looking for bullish order flow above these key psychological levels. And the reason was because, again, the bottom of the sell deltas right here was roughly around 44 to 43 cents. So for me, I wanted to see bullish order flow above these sell deltas solidifying a risk on market mood at the same time, understanding technical analysis that if market makers aren't going to attack lows, what are they going to attempt to do? Again, like I explained, they're going to attack highs. So that is when I sent this analysis out to you guys, stating that if we could break above that 43 cent delta zone, again, I didn't have the delta zone on my charts when I sent this to you guys, but still the 43 cent level right here was very prevalent. I mentioned if we can hold above this, our next immediate bullish targets are going to be the 50 cent range. Again, targeting these highs. And we can see right now where XRP price action currently sits. We broke significantly above. 
that 43 cent range. We held bullish order flow. I still haven't even deleted my drawings here, the exact same drawings that I gave you guys. We dipped back down into the bottom of this range, flipped bullish, created some fractal bullish order flow, and came and attacked the highs at 50 cents, right? So my thesis holds firm that if market makers are not going to attack lows at the same time risk sentiment is shifting hands via a more risk on market mood which we saw this past week with cooling inflationary figures and so on and so forth which i'll get into in just one second we can assume that buyers are going to come back into the market and flip price bullish right and you have to be able to adjust to that Keep in mind that over the past consecutive couple of trading days, the crypto fear and greed index was at the lowest levels that the market has seen since Bitcoin was at $17,000. So what were the vast amount of manual retail traders most likely experiencing? Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. How many individuals were skeptical over these past consecutive couple of trading days about the price of XRP or holding the digital asset itself because of the lack thereof of price action over the past couple of weeks. Again, you just need to zoom out and pay attention to detail. So that was the first metric, was the delta zones. So I added that layer on to start with because obviously, of course, without you know psychological levels and without technical analysis, we can't place trades. So I thought that I'd solidify that first was the delta zones. You can see again, Usman popped out with those delta zones on the 7th of July. I sent you guys the analysis the day after incorporating those delta zones onto my charts on July 8th. All right. And if we just go look at the charts real fast, you can see down here at the bottom, July 8th and July 7th was when the price of XRP was down here at roughly around 42 to 41 cents. So you had plenty of time to hop into this position for some profit, right? <clears throat> All right, so now that that's out of the way. The second thing that I noticed, and I brought this to everybody's attention in a couple of Zoom calls from the past few weeks, was that XRP was one of the only digital assets that I noticed. Again, I'm not too entirely sure if other digital assets didn't meet this threshold, but if you remember all the way back on the 12th of April, 2024, when we had that increased market sell-off in the total cryptocurrency market predominantly because of the risk-off market sentiment that was created when the israel hamas war was in full swing right you can see this is a headline from cnn this was back on you know roughly april 12th through the 13th those two days i believe it was a friday and a saturday if i'm not mistaken you can see the correlation in the price of xrp that is exactly when even if you go look at the rest of the cryptocurrency market cap everything sold off Bitcoin sold off, the total cryptocurrency market cap sold off, all altcoins sold off, including XRP. Now, what I noticed and I brought to everybody's attention was that XRP was one of the only digital assets that did not recover and re-meet the price levels from when price sold off on April 12th. For example, we go take a look at Bitcoin, right? Here are the Bitcoin charts. Let's go to the higher time frame so you can see it a little bit better. Here is from the dates, April 12th to April 13th, when that geopolitical escalation and tension in the Middle East took place. Bitcoin sold off and Bitcoin recovered back up to those levels from that same sell-off period, actually significantly coming higher and liquidating any over-leveraged sellers that existed above these highs, right? Bitcoin did that. If we go take a look at ICP, ICP did the same thing, and I'm just utilizing digital assets in my portfolio that I'm familiar with. Right, you can see here this is April 12th, 2024. ICP rallied higher, surpassed that, and liquidated all selling positions, leverage positions that existed above these highs from those dates. We can go look at H bar. H bar had a significant rally and actually increased significantly higher than the date from which on April 12th that weekend it sold off. Here is the date. April 12th and the 13th, Hamas-Israel conflict, and you can see HBAR significantly increased after that, way higher, liquidating any over-leveraged sellers that existed above these highs. So XRP was one of the only digital assets that did not do that. So we can assume that if the risk on market mood continues to prevail, at the same exact time, we understand I've been holding XRP since 2017. I know that it's a lagging digital asset that nine times out of 10, when other digital assets do things, XRP tends to do the same, but weeks or months later, right? 
And so that is one of the things that I put into my analysis for you guys is that if the vast amount of other digital assets increase significantly above the date in which the geopolitical escalations and tensions increased that created a sell-off in the cryptocurrency market, XRP was one of the only assets that did not recover from that sell-off. Well, we can assume that eventually, if there is a risk on market mood and bullish order flow in XRP, one of the first areas of interest that these market makers are going to target is going to be above these intraday highs when the market sold off, just like it did on the rest of these other digital assets, which is where our first significant bullish target of roughly around 62 cents after the most original bullish target of 50 cents was just met comes into fruition. So our next bullish target when we get into that segment of today's video breakdown is going to be at that 62 cent threshold, which I firmly believe if we can break above these intraday selling areas of interest right here in the form of this premium range, roughly around 54 to 55 cents, we are going to smash right into that 62 cent threshold, right? So let's see. So that out of the way. So we have so far the Delta zones. We also have the ideology that XRP is a laggard digital asset. Other digital assets have increased in value significantly from when it sold off the entire total cryptocurrency market cap back on April 12th and the 13th, and XRP did not. So we are assuming, at least I am, that XRP will eventually follow suit. Okay, so that was my second confluence to send you guys this confident analysis. And you guys can see, I even have those targets mentioned in the screenshot that I gave you guys back on the 8th of July, right? 62 cents. You guys can see it right there in that screenshot. Okay, so I wanted to break that down for you guys in detail. So that was confluence number two. Another confluence yesterday. Now, this isn't really at the end of the day, a confluence because, you know, Collectively speaking, um, this tweet from Stuart Alderati does not move the market. But what I did notice, and Stuart Alderati just solidified my perspective, is that the price of XRP was discounted more over the past consecutive couple of trading days than it was back when it won the lawsuit. So back on July 13th, 2023, obviously, of course, XRP was deemed a non-security. Here's a tweet from Stuart Alderati talking about that. Right. And so if we go look at the charts on XRP, one of the things that I noticed, as a matter of fact, we'll actually go to this one. Let's go to the higher time frame because I don't want to clear my drawings from the other one. Oh, no, it might make me. OK, so anyways, actually, you know what I can do? Let's open up another chart. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay, so one of the things that I noticed is that if you go all the way back, okay, so this is the date, July 13th, that XRP was deemed a non-security. You know what's even funnier? Look at these. Um, these are trade ideas that I gave you guys like three weeks ago, and the drawings are still on the charts, right? Look at this. Here's the buy zone. I, I mentioned this to you guys in the chat. Buy zone, stop loss beneath this previous low. I haven't deleted any of those drawings. Anyways, that's regardless of the point of this video breakdown. So here you can see this is when the XRP lawsuit or whatever, Ripple lawsuit, XRP was deemed a non-security and ran all the way up into roughly about, you know, I don't know, 94 cents. Okay. Well, what I noticed is that the market makers were not buying on this day. Okay. The market makers were buying all the way back at the beginning of January in March and in May, right? They were buying before the lawsuit. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, what I'm going to show you is the environment that was created back in January and February when the market makers were buying way before the lawsuit. Okay, because everybody and their mom thought that this price appreciation on XRP started on July 13th when XRP was deemed a non security. But the, the charts clearly show you all that market makers were buying three months before that collectively speaking, four months before that, right? And so let me show you all the environment, the same environment fundamentally that was created in January of, excuse me, in January and in February is the same environment that has been created exactly when the price of XRP came discounted down into this area of interest. So let me show you that real quick, all right? So we can see here, I have some fundamental screenshots pulled up for you guys. And this is exactly what, as risk asset investors, 
we want to see via the fundamental environment that is created for a risk on market move to floors. That means digital assets across the board performing much better than the United or you know stronger against the United States dollar as the United States dollar depreciates in value. So check this out. This is and these are fundamental reports from January and so on and so forth. And we can see here. All right, January, you see the dates, expectations that the Fed would ease monetary policy in 2024 after its most aggressive tightening cycle in decades, fueled an explosive rally in stocks and bonds in final months of last year, boosting the S&P 500. Okay, we got other fundamental reports. Americans begin to believe inflation is cooling, right? So we see inflation figures coming down, dwindling. January CPI, inflation continues to fall, okay? And we can see how the market was bullish and created a risk on market environment during those time frames, right? Well, what do we see? When the market was discounted, so after the price rallied on July 13th, 2023, we see boom, price exponentially exploding and retracing all the way back down into this discounted range. So what I did, this is the weekly time frame. I highlighted the weeks that those fundamentals came out from the top of this weekly candlestick down to the bottom, and I extended that over to the right-hand side. And we can see that the market makers push price straight down into that discounted area from where they were buying when the same exact fundamental environment was created. So you can see here, these are all fundamentals from this past week. Boom. The market rally came after Jay Powell, the Fed chair, made encouraging comments about inflation in the labor market in his first set of two days of testimony at Capitol Hill. So his commentary supported rate cut bets. And I just showed you guys the same exact fundamentals fueling risk asset buying back in this time frame that sent XRP all the way to 94 cents are the same exact fundamentals that are printing now. Interestingly enough, it's the same exact time when XRP was discounted back from when those fundamentals were coming out. Here's another one from this past week. This is from July 11th. Inflation in the United States has cooled. It's literally, look, look at this, okay? These fundamental reports are literally the same. Look, Americans begin to believe inflation is cooling, right? Inflation continues to fall, okay? The same reports, collectively speaking, in the terms of vocabulary are coming out when the price of XRP was discounted at the same exact area it was back when it rallied from roughly around 36 to 38 to 40 cents, all the way up into 94 cents, right? Here's another one, last but not least. You can see right here, it says, this is from two days ago, inflation report fuels Fed interest in rate cut bets. So we know that at the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024, one of the predominant factors fueling risk asset greed was the idea that the Federal Reserve at some point in time in 2024 was gonna cut uh, rate cuts, okay? So these supporting fundamental factors on top of the fact that the market was at a discounted area, on top of the idea that XRP was one of the only digital assets that has not significantly increased in value from when the rest of the market did and sold off back on April 12th to the 13th at the same exact time that the market was at a discounted area of interest failing to break lower into these demand regions or delta zones and instead broke above sell deltas, piecing all of those things together gave me the confidence to send you guys this trade idea, hold positions, and target these higher levels, right? This is not and has nothing to do with magical Fibonacci predictions or moving averages or RSI or volume or any of that, which I could implement all of those factors into this trade analysis if I wanted to. I guarantee you, if we turn the triple moving average crossover on, we would have one of those. As a matter of fact, let me just prove what I'm saying. Let's go down to the lower time frame. Guarantee you in this area, if we turn the triple EMAs on, we could add that as a confluence. Boom, look at that. And I guarantee you it happened at 43 cents. Would you look at that? Triple moving average crossover right at 43 cents, right at that delta zone, right? Remember the delta zone was at 44 to 43 cents that Usman sent? Look at where the triple moving average is crossed over, right at 43 cents, give or take on the dot, okay? Price action flip bullish, held above the delta zone, the 50 and the other two EMAs as well, and continued to print bullish order flow. So not only have you had all these other confluences, but if we wanted to throw on indicators, there were also indicators flipping bullish at the same exact time, 
right? So all of these factors combined is how I've been able to deliver you guys such accurate analysis. It's never that I just throw a Fibonacci sequence on or believe in moon cycles to predict these charts. It is a logical and sensical analysis combined with years of experience that deliver this accuracy to you guys. So I was messaging Ruby this morning. Ruby sent me a nice trade idea, or sorry, excuse me, a nice percentage trade that he took on this trade analysis. So hopefully you guys are benefiting from this. And if you're not leveraged at trading, again, because not everybody is, hopefully you guys were able to dollar cost average into XRP at these lows below 45 cents, because now you'd be sitting in some profit, right? Nothing too significant, but still imagine how many people complain about the price of digital asset of the digital asset XRP. It's because they don't understand how to dollar cost average improperly. Most individuals buy when the market is pumping, right? When in reality, they should have been buying when the market was dumping. Okay. So with that all out of the way, now you guys have the confluences, at least a certain set of them that I was giving you guys in order to, you know, give you guys this accurate trade analysis. This isn't even, you know, going over the CyperX confluences, which we can see here in this area play out. We see a set of liquidity, a sweep of that liquidity, a confirm higher low that comes in after, and the bullish order flow in the form of higher highs and higher lows fractally that come in after that. These are the CyperX confluences right here that we'd like to see if we're going to jump in buys. We got those as well, but to save time for this video breakdown, I won't cover those. All right. So now that that's all out of the way, let's just cover some bullish targets and areas of interest that I want to see price hold above in order for us to see those bullish targets come to fruition. So we're just going to stay on the weekly chart just to save time. So that way you guys can actually see price action. And a key area of interest that I want to see XRP price hold above to see these higher targets come into fruition, which for me, my most immediate bullish target is going to be that 62 cent threshold, which I already explained to you guys. Again, keeping that same logic in mind, if the market makers are not going to target weekly lows, which exist right now at roughly around 42 cents, then most likely we are going to start to target weekly highs. And again, remember, this is the weekly chart. So this analysis could take weeks, it could take months. Keep in mind that if the market's again not going to break into lows to attack those areas of liquidity, we're going to most likely target high. So if we accomplish the 62 cent threshold, my next bullish target is going to be six or 76 to 75 cents to come and attack these equal highs right here. And if we accomplish 76 cents, my next bullish targets are going to be 94 to a dollar 10. Now, the area of interest that I would like to see XRP hold above to confirm this bullish thesis or that price is going to start to target these higher levels is the 50 cent threshold. If again, we zoom out and we look at the entire area of price action roughly since pretty much, let's just say the beginning of 2023, right? So you can see January, 2023 here in this area of interest. Every single time that XRP has held above 50 cents, we've seen a significant price increase. So you can see here, if I slap this horizontal line on at the 0 0.50 cent range, <clears throat> you can see that historically, every single time XRP has held above 50 cents and closed with a bullish candlestick, we've significantly increased. Here was that July court case date. Here you can see in October 2023, price significantly increased above 50 cents. Here again, you can see in January 2024, we closed bullish above that 50 cent threshold on the weekly time frame and significantly increased. And so we can assume, again, historically speaking, that if we see over the next one day and nine hours, give or take, this bullish candlestick close above the 50 cent threshold, to some degree, bullish price action as long as price holds above 50 cents is going to follow after. Now, what that's going to look like, again, I can't determine that. But based off of historical data, if we see a bullish candlestick on the weekly time frame close above 50 cents, we are most likely going to come into targets on the higher spectrum. And that's going to be areas of interest on the weekly above lower highs. And so for me, that first target sits at, excuse me, 62 cents. I mentioned any break above 62 cents, our next immediate bullish target will be 76. And then above that, our next immediate bullish targets will be 94 cents to $1.10. All right. 
So easy trade analysis. I just wanted to break this down for you guys, get you all to see that this has nothing to do with magic indicators or Fibonacci extensions. If you did want to throw some nice Fibonacci extensions on this, you could solidify that by seeing that price was at a discount from taking your Fibonacci from this lower area of interest all the way up to the high that we got in July 2023 at this peak. And you could see that price tapped straight down into that 79% sweet spot that I try to teach you guys about in the Cyprex 2.0 content, that the market makers nine times out of 10 like to push price down into that 79% and below discount before accumulating more buy orders. And you can see that that had happened to the absolute T of a degree with the fundamentals in cahoots, with the delta zones in cahoots, and at the same exact time that all of that was coming into fruition, we had a more risk on market mood this past week via the environment and the crypto space created, right? So all of these factors combined gave me the confidence to send you this trade analysis, showing you guys the level of accuracy in which we trade and analyze the markets with here at Cyprex. It's not just one thing. It's always a, conf a confluence of things. And hopefully throughout your trading and investing career, you guys pick up on a couple of these things um, to implement them in your trading. So that way you become just as accurate, all right? So with that being said, that is my XRP trade breakdown. Gave you guys bullish targets, gave you guys areas of interest. If we do happen to break below the 50 cent range, let's just say, God forbid, I hope that it doesn't happen because just like you, I want to see some price appreciation. But if it does and we dip below 50 cents, the next areas of interest, because I just recently bought some XRP at roughly, I think it was like 40, 41 and 42 cents. I scooped up some XRP. For me, this is not a leverage position. I was unable to take this position because I was not at my computer when it took place, which is a bummer, but I did have some buy limits set. So I did implement some capital in at these lows and that is now in profit. So that was cool to see. Those buy limits were executed on Caleb and Brown. Uh, with that being said, if we break below 50 cents because I just bought at 42, 41 and 40 cents, I will wait to see if price goes lower before adding more, okay? I'll update you guys on that if that does come into fruition. But for now, if we can hold above 50 cents, even if we slightly dip back below it to reaccumulate some more orders, don't get fearful. Remember, if the market does not break below 42 cents, i.e. this low that was just created, we could still come back down, reaccumulate more orders, and then flip back bullish. All right? So right now on the weekly time frame, I'm personally predicting that one of two things is going to happen. One more retracement back down into lows to create some more fear, uncertainty, a doubt in the market to accumulate some more orders and discount price one last time and then flip bullish. Or a continuation from where we stand right now, a retest of 49 to 50 cents, and then an exponential growth curve back up into that 62 cent threshold. All right. Let's see how the fundamentals unfold this week. Obviously, of course, this environment and this prediction could change as the fundamental and risk on market environment could change as well. So if next week we see stronger U.S. dollar, stronger U.S. data, weighing on risk assets across the board, obviously, of course, this analysis is going to change hands, but you guys will get an update on that via a typed out report or a breakdown, some screenshots in the Cyprus analysis section. All right. But for now, with the risk on market mood on the weekly time frame, the next area of interest that I'm looking to come into fruition with XRP is 62 cents. Once we break above that threshold, we'll start to focus on those higher levels. All right. Other than that, any questions on this particular trade breakdown before we hop off for the weekend? Mm -hmm.